Hello, this is all 2323 and welcome back to Medieval Total War as England. Yay! Huzzah! I'm back with some more. Yay! Huzzah! Hurrah! Whatever! Even though not many people actually view this series, but oh well. So, what's happening right now? I'm probably going to move this army down there. That army can... Hmm. That army can go there. You can retrain. Flip. No money. So you can actually gain a cannon. So I can make my way down to defeating Venice. So let's in turn, shall we? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about the coughing. Not much I can really do about it at this point in time. Yes, please. The world is round, possible pipe. Fight on the battle map. The thing is, I might as well just get excommunicated. It means I have freedom to do certain things. But then again, it also means I'm excommunicated, which is also not that... Good. Actually, you know what? Just aim for the towers. Because if I aim for the towers, it then means I can just bring the siege towers up. I don't have to worry about towers. Good, there's no... Uh castle inside a castle <coughs> this cold ah triple speed might as well hmm Ooh, 100% damage. Okay, so it's not like Rome Total War that both of them would be 100% damage at the same time. The reason, as I said, I'm aiming for the towers is because of it's better. To, and I'm not sure if my men would be able to get through and I might as well destroy the towers destroy the gate and then good and then just aim at the walls there's nothing stopping me from doing that Because doing something like that would be advantageous because of... It would then mean they're getting hit. So they may run. Meanwhile, I've got, like, let's say, a siege tower coming up here. Probably another strike. I was absolutely correct in my guess. See, they've started running, so halt. 
Then I just bring the siege tower up. I wait for it to pass. Then I start aiming at that one. And when they start running, I bring... Ooh, they're not going to start running. I find it funny how they can actually hit me. Okay, those ones. Okay, that's fair enough. But some of them, it was just um, how. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Run. Hmm. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Good. in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Oh well. You can just drop. I love the fact that they are using their own catapults to try and get an advantage over me, but all they're doing is knocking down their own walls. Which seems like a Pretty stupid idea to me. They've even destroyed some of their own houses. Okay, now that one was me. No one can deny that. No, actually, I can deny it. Because of the accuracy of cannons was actually pretty good. That accuracy was pretty bad. Therefore it is, therefore it could not be me. Because of that accuracy was bad and not good. And the good thing about peasant crossbowmen is that they suck a hand to hand. Which is good. Oh, it's a crossbow militia this time. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. How come that tower is no is Oh it probably is mine, it just hasn't decided to recognise it as mine. Which is kind of annoying. Shall I do something sneaky? A ninja. Yeah, let's ninja it.
And then while they're doing that, I'll just move up my arm, uh, my infantry, the rest of it. Which is quite a substantial amount, actually. Although, what I might as well do... ...is have my archers fire upon the infantry. Where are the archers? Ah, oh, they're there. Now, I may even be able to taunt them out. Come on, be taunted! How is the ninja tactic? going. Not too well, really. They're exhausted, so they're not that fast at running. You know what, actually, they don't have any towers, so that means I can just Move up as close as I want. Come on! Oh, all they did was go in loose formation. So sad when things don't work out as you wished. Okay, control light. Attack. Well, actually, you three can just go stand there the lord is with us today we've captured the enemy's walls I don't I didn't expect to miraculously win that fight. Would have been nice, but I did not expect to. Run. Just go in and out. That is what you would expect soldiers to do. Is to just go in and out so many times. And eventually get to the point of they can't win.
Come on, run. Charge. Only half the enemy force remains. Run, 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 run. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. Sent the base cur to hell. Okay, good. Things seem to be going quite well. Just run. Mm. Now there are better ways of taking settlements and fighting, but I'm just a bit lazy. Okay, good. Such is the fate of all who oppose us. Victor See, I did not actually gain a um uh off if I just I clicked the wrong one. Oops. But what I was saying is I didn't actually get a excommunicated for that one, even though I should have. The reason being is I was already attacking it before the Pope asked me to stop. Unless... Okay, I must have already been... Yep, I'm excommunicated. So, I did actually get excommunicated for that, even though I was already attacking them. That's some of the illogical things in this game, just... you I'm already attacking. Why? Just why? Let's fight. If only I had lots of arches. I've only got two units of arches, which is a shame and not what I would want. If I had more, it would be a lot easier. And it's not a, um... Ooh, actually, I've got three units of arches and one unit of crossbow. Now, just why would I have a um, archer behind another archer like that? Just if I go like that, it selects two. Where's this one? Okay, I might as well. Just go meh about it. Why not? So they just have... Cannons and catapults. That's an easy victory over there. The walls have fallen. 
Have I just lost some men? Yes, yes I did. Guess you. Our men are winning the battle. If we can see the enemy are badly bloody by St. George, our men have slain the enemy general. Without him is to behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. Run down that way. The enemy are through the walls. Fight I just saw Let's lost some more men. No oh well. They're only them. They're not too special. Now it's just a waiting game. No doubt if I was against another player they would would be attacking already. Where's this one go? Our foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in this battle. How? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fire at will and fire mode on. The enemy have ladders at the walls. Where, where, where? Oh, there. I always dislike the idea of fire. Cannons. Ah, that is there. In our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Good victory is mine.
there's always that one strange person who decides to run across this way. Oh, if only I had that upgrade. Just walking this way and boom, you're dead. That cavalry unit is finished. All of them are except this one, so therefore... Goes to show attack and see which one gets there first. Yes. Oh, four hundred and eighty-one prisoners. That's nice. Please just catch. He's exhausted, I know you're exhausted, but you've got more men and you're on horses. You're on horses for Pete's sake. Ah, you are going to catch. Good. Although then again, the general unit is always faster, so I should have probably of told that one to chase. Heroic victory. Huzzah! Now, let's see what the AI will do. Ransom, reject it. Your rulers dislike you. Um, blockade that port. No. Ooh, actually. Yeah, no. I thought I had a army available, but I don't. So, army in here is going to go Milan, my trusted ally and comrade. Oh wow, Portugal. No, Poland is trying to attack me again. Uh, map information for. Let's go 800. The Pope is dead. And of course I I still can't actually vote for a new Pope, but I could if I actually got a bishop. minutes Recruitment Feudal Knights K 
cavalry. I can't find that stack in the open, so let's not. Um, let's fight. Every single time I've got an army so close to being able to do something, but too far to actually do anything. Shut up. What? Well, so they have one cannon and a few I've defended and won against worse odds. And my question is, why did it take like five in-game minutes for them to actually start doing something? Miss me. <coughs> okay, you shall just nudge over a bit. Now where's the next? Pause. Okay, so you lot, all of you just go here. You know what, I'll have that one going there. You can fire mode. Actually, there's a problem with doing that square formation thing. Is that you've got some just facing the complete wrong direction. Which is not something which is handy in a fight like that. I like the fact that they're shooting through the walls. Oh, ladders? Flip, I forgot about that. Run. Why are you just not doing anything? Attack, all of you, attack. Well, actually, attack. Defeat seems possible. Good. By Saint George, our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Good, Hazard. Moment, 
the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. What are they doing? Good. It seems like you definitely don't need cavalry to defend a castle. Just end battle. I won't be able to chase and clear vic no heroic victory yet again. Um, ransom rejected. Okay. Now. France, you are not going to attack me. You are not going to attack me. No. Now would you... Oh. That's been... Opened up. Hungary. What a surprise. Oh, that's the Pope. Is the Pope... Oh, curse you. Curse you. Um, actually, you need to repair. So do you. And once you've done that, you can start recruiting some infantry and some cavalry. Yes. Um, right. Let's just end this episode here. So, this has been Sort of Future Free. I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I shall see you next time.